Welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and today we're in the beautiful stateroom inside Olympia in the capital. We're talking to our lawmakers about what they're doing for you. My guest today is Republican Representative Judy Warnick. She's in the 13th District. That covers Easton, Cleelum, and Moses Lake. And thank you so much for joining us, Judy. It's nice to be here. We're about halfway through our 60-day <coughs> mm -hmm. session. Act Things moving exactly. right ahead. And you've sponsored a bill that would help with vehicle quick titles. Mm -hmm. This is just a very small bill, but it would help anyone who needed a new title or a title for their vehicle to have more options to, to be able to get a quick title quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that can be a hassle. So I think it can I think be. that would be helpful for a lot of people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Moses Lake, I'm seeing a lot of news mm -hmm. about the growth and development there. Moses Lake is doing very, very well. Um, we have good power rates. We are attracting international companies, but you know, our base is still our agricultural industry and the processing plants that we have. And so we are, we are doing very well in the center of the state. You have the Potato <coughs> Commission there, mm -hmm. and you have some new businesses coming in, bringing a large group of college-educated mm -hmm. people into Moses mm -hmm. Lake, too. BMW, SGL, uh, the carbon fiber plant has, has located there. They're looking at expanding. And, um, you know, this is pretty exciting. Most of us don't drive electric cars, but this plant helps with the production of electric cars. So I think it's, our kids and, and our grandkids for, might be. For, those that, <laughs> for our neighbors and colleagues in the urban areas, this is, this is a very exciting development. Now, the legislature approved some money to buy a large parcel of property in the Tianaway Basin, and that's your, mm -hmm. your home area. How do we people did. feel about that? Well, you know, at first uh, people were a little unsure. Uh, 50,000 acres coming out of off our tax rolls, um, but it's it's turning out to be a very good piece of the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan. Um, my district starts at the headwaters of the Yakima Basin, and so this will help um, water issues all the way down through Yakima and then to Benton County. Um, the purchase of this property secures some of the water rights and allows for use of this property so without development. Um, they'll continue farming uh, in that area, continue the grazing, so and then add recreation aspect to it. Yeah, I think that's one thing people <coughs> were initially concerned about mm -hmm. who didn't understand that they could still mm -hmm. access it for their public recreations. And Hunting, exactly. things like that. And we have a, we're in the process of forming a local community group to help manage it. It's right now under DNR and Department of Fish and Wildlife Management, but there'll also be a local citizens group and users group, uh, community members to, to help with that process. Now I have time for just one more question. Okay. The economy looks to be getting a little better, but there's mm -hmm. still a lot of concerns about mm -hmm jobs in the economy. What are you doing for your constituents to well, keep and maintain jobs? Actually, I'm looking statewide. I'm the uh, current caucus chair for the House Republicans, and we're encouraging any members to bring for, forward bills that will help our businesses, our job creators, and opposing bill, bills that will benefit or not benefit our businesses. So looking statewide to try to do that. Thank you, Judy. We sure appreciate Thank your time. You. Thank you for joining us. Very this is Judy Warnick. Been a I'm pleasure. Dana Cowley. We're in the beautiful <coughs> stateroom in the Capitol Rotunda in Olympia. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest.